There are several ways to start a game in 4th Street Basketball. One is simply just to select a game out of the schedule details. So if I click on NOP versus Miami, all I have to do after that is hit the ready button. And these games have already been set up with the starters that actually started that game included and to the best of our abilities the uh, roster whether that be 12 or 15 men or whatever it happens to be once you to this point you can go ahead and view what the starting lineups will be for both the visitor and the home team and then you can go ahead and select what style of play you would like so there is a normal Helper means that uh, you would manually, so to speak, roll the dice. Autoplay simply uh, plays the game out in its entirety automatically, so it takes about 15 seconds. Run schedule means you're going to start with this game and play through the playthrough date, which I'll show you again here in a little bit. And finally, another option is a board game option where you play the board game and simply input the statistics as you go. Let's go back to normal and we'll choose the hu uh, human player to coach both teams here in this game. And then I simply press OK. And we won't get into uh, the actuality of the game here right now. That's not the purpose of this video but that's one way to get to one of the games. You'll notice that that game was not removed from the schedule. Had I pressed the Begin button, it would be erased, and you could then resume it. So let's try that out here real quick. So we'll do the same thing. New Orleans at Miami. Set it up normal, human versus human. Go ahead and hit OK, and we'll begin the game. All right, so we've got that going. We'll just play through a setup play or two here, see what happens, and then I'm going to leave. Okay, now I get back to the main screen, home screen, and you'll notice that that's unchecked. On the other hand, there is no score here, and that's simply because this game was not played to its entirety, so it has not been compiled. It is, however, resumable. If you hit resume, that's the only file showing up here because that's the only one I've played so far. If I go ahead and open that file, it brings me right back to where I was, rebound by blood cell. Method number two to play a game. Let's switch uh, divisions here and let's play with the Lakers at, uh, let's go... Dallas. So we have the Lakers at Dallas. Now this is not a scheduled game, so this is just like a pickup game or an exhibition game, so to speak. I'm going to hit ready. And when I get to this point, rather than use uh, lineups that were already actual, because this was not an actual game, it's the computer simply defaults back to preset lineups. So this is preset lineups with starters included, as is that for Dallas. Okay, so we can also place a game on the schedule in a couple of different ways. One is to just do it from the home screen. So let's play Kentucky as a visitor, and we'll have them play Minnesota as the home team. And I'm going to place this game on the schedule by just clicking on the Save button. And as you can see, it goes ahead and pops in. If I want to play that game now, I just hit click, select that button from the schedule details. Hit Ready, and it starts up the same in the same manner as the other one. I can also go to the Schedule Editor and do the same thing here. So let's put New York against Michigan. So click on New York, select them as visitor, 
Michigan as the home team. Once I hit this, that will go ahead and add that to the schedule. And oh, by the way, it also displays over here kind of a pocket schedule, if you will, for the league. Once I go back, I can select that game and go ahead and play it. Now, if we go back to an actual league here, let's go back to the schedule. If I click on Cleveland, it'll show me Cleveland's schedule for the season. Here's Detroit's, etc. If I want to see the entire league, I can just click on this and it'll show me a complete calendar for the entire league. Now that option also will display what the scores are as long as those games have uh, game stat files remaining. So if you don't delete the game stat files, you can see those scores.